My only dream before was to document my everyday OOTDs. <coughs> Hindi ko alam na dun pala si Katrina na great. Hey everyone, it's me, Carl, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching my previous video, and I really appreciate your views and support. If we reach 100 subscribers, I will be doing that special giveaway, so subscribe, subscribe. So today, I will be reacting to my old OOTVs, and I've been vlogging since 2009, so it's gonna be like a style evolution. Para makita niyo kung paano ako nang evolve as a Pokemon Metros. <laughs> One thing was certain, and it's me being androgynous. So sabi niyo ako sa pag cringe. And sabi nga nila, be your own critic. Back in the days, I'm only one of the few gay fashion bloggers. And I'm really happy that I was able to inspire a lot of gay readers, gay supporters to be their own self and to wear whatever they want because life is too short. So now let's do it! Do it! So look number one. Um, this look, oh my god, ang bata ko pa dito. I think this was around 2009. Dito nagsimula lahat. This was my most hyped look when I started lookbook. Para kung... <laughs> I could still wear this, but without the necklace. So on to the next outfit. This was taken by Trisha Gosing Chan. In fairness, that um this was for Philippine Star for a Halloween edition. And since yung fashion ko nung time na yon, very grungy, very madume, na parang messy, na indie indie. That was a time that super DIY ako, kasi nga I don't have the money to buy clothes, so bibili ako ng shirt sa supermarket or sa mall and then sisirain ko. Pinunturahan ko pang para magkaroon ng medyo bloody bloody effect. I was very brave and very different back then. So look number three. I think I was inspired by Kate Lanfear. She was an androgynous fashion style icon. She was fashion editor of Elle magazine. So ako ito, nag-DIY na naman ako ng sando. <laughs> So, di ko alam kung ilang safety pin yung na-aksay ako dito. Dahil dyan sa photo na yan, na-feature ako sa isang style diary book. And it was published around 2010. Doon nga si Style Bubble eh, I remember. Okay, moving on. The next photo. Nagiging distinct na yung style ko. Hindi na ganun ka-messy. Medyo curated na. Uh, the Carl Who shirt na ginaya ko from Carl Lagerfeld. Very heavy na naman accessory. Okay, this photo was from Garage Magazine. I think this was late 2010 and me and my best friend Mike created a fashion line. It's called Paradigm Shift. Medyo conceptual lang aming inspiration dito. Hindi lang to yung basta-bastang clothing line na masabi lang. It, it was taken by Edric. So look number five. This was May 2011, Philippine Fashion Week. And I was wearing my dream shoes. It was the Kermit Tesoro. Inspired talaga ako ni Alexander McQueen. Back then, um, I only support local, ukay ukay, and indie brands. The necklace and the yarn from my best friend Curves or Leather Engines. Yeah, I love him. That time, I was just wearing whatever I want without apprehension, without fear. It's also because I think I have, um, you know, I have fashion friends and fashion squad because I think I'm motivated to magsuot ng ganun kasi nga, I have readers who always tell me that uh, my fashion inspires them, so you know, it keeps you going. This photo is also during Fashion Week, Philippine Fashion Week. I loved layering that time. Na kahit ang init-init, nagla-layer ako. Lagi yung ako sinasabihan ng iba kong friends na parang, oh, ito na naman si Carl magkikosplay. Pero I don't think... <laughs> Mukha bang cosplay? Well, kind of. Heavily inspired by Noritaka Tatihana. And that's yung heelish shoes ni Lady Gaga that time. So, pinagawa ko yung heelish shoes na to kay Brian Evalie. So, hello Brian. I hope you're watching. Thank you again for making me this heelish boost. Comment down below if you like the outfit. Look number 8 na tayo, okay? This was from a shoot for Metro Magazine, guys. And it was shot by none other than BJ Pasqua. So, this Norman Noriega shirt dress it's been my staple i remember i'm always wearing you know metallic cuffs and bracelet usong-usong yan noon na super 
kung pwede lang punuin yung buong braso, pupunuin. So this is Mike and Michelle pa ni Mang Lore, our model for that photo shoot. So next outfit again is look number 9. Ang peg ko niya is si, um, sino nga ba yung vampire? Si Edward sa Twilight. This is again for Metro Magazine for a feature about young designers wearing a bracelet from Oz Accessories. So it was a fashion brand by my good friends Paul and AJ back then. So again, yan yung photo shoot for Metro Magazine. I was with Mike again along with other, you know, Filipino young designers. Sa masaya lang nung sa Philippines. So look number 10. This was in 2013. Late ako nung fashion show na yan kasi galing ako sa photo shoot sa Status Magazine. Thank you Status Magazine. Okay lang naman yung style ko nito. Very inspired lang siya ng Givenchy. Medyo nag-steer away ako from the all black. This was a photo shoot nga for Status Magazine. I don't know, ba't ako nakasalamin? Hindi naman malabo yung mata ko. On my neck, it was a Margiela neck piece. It was given to me by my reader. Papakita ko sa inyo guys yung picture ng article. Look number 11 na tayo. So we're halfway there guys. Kapit lang. So this was 2013. Anyway, I was wearing... I think yung jacket ko is from Ukay. And it's a paradigm shift um, top. And the leggings are from Ukay again. So yan. Medyo K-pop na yung vibes ko nyan. Wow. Fantastic, baby. Okay, look number 12. Look number 12, guys. So this is in 2013 again. I was wearing Paradigm Shift. Yeah, hindi ko alam na dun pala si Catriona Gray. She was one of the models. And six years after, she was in this universe. So you'll never know who you will meet. Tsaka ako yung nag-capture ng photo. I'll show you the photo. So ito yung photo. O, oh, diba? Hindi ko na nga siya maalala. Actually, si Laren pa nga yung nagsabi sa akin na, Oh, si Catriona Gray pala yung model na kasama mo nun. So look number 13. This was in 2013, preview ball. So everyone looks forward to going to that ball. So it's invite only, and I was so honored to be invited. I think ang inspiration ko dito is Balenciaga 2012. Also yung sports locks. So I was wearing, oh my god, a visor. Visor sa gabi ha. I think I was wearing a leather skirt and a leather leggings and a leather boots. So puro leather. But it worked. Okay, look 14. Shhh, so look 14. Medyo naging minimal na ako. Na-inspire ako noon kay Ivania Carpo. And then I just started fresh. That was like a white leather panel na dinikit ko. Very, very norm core. Naging norm core na, di ba? Nakakalungkot, pero... Yeah, yun yung direction ng aking style. So for the first time, nakita ko yung sarili ko naka-flats and naka-chinelas. Can you imagine? For me to call my outfit an outfit, kailangan naka-boots or naka-heelless or naka-wedge. So tatlong criteria. See myself wearing flats and chinelas. Groundbreaking. So look number 16. 2017 actually. Uh, this was shot in Vancouver. So that time, I was heavily inspired by Vetmo and Off-White. Yung fashion ko noon, medyo nagpapahaba na ako ng hair niyan. This was in 2018 na, I believe. And this was taken in Sydney. Oh, weird, no? And red boots. Um, nako, lahat ata ng trends. Gusto kong itry noon. We watched Lana Del Rey's concert that time. So guys, I have a question for you. So what do you think is the most important part of the outfit? Is it the boots, the shoes, accessories? So comment down below your answers para mabasa ko because I want to read them. Last look. This would be the last look. This is the present outfit, present fashion ko. Very avant-garde again. So we're going back to the roots of avant-garde but more refined, more classic and kind of sophisticated, let's say. I was wearing Helmut Lang and Rick Owens. Moved kami sa Gold Coast and medyo na... medyo na refined ko, na filter ko na yung style ko. Medyo sedated na yung fashion ko. Less accessories, definitely. Um, I still wear wedges. And the inspiration for my fashion is Michelle Lamy and Rick Owens, definitely. The summary of my style for 2020. It's very drapey, going back to crazy shoes again. So this is my current photo and this is my old photo. So what do you guys think? Well, well. And this is my transformation. And looking back, all I can say is that I'm proud of 
my journey, my style. My only dream before was to document my everyday OOTDs, but it eventually grew into something big. So kayo rin guys, don't be afraid to express your outfits, yourself, your fashion in any way because you'll never know what adventure will come to you. So thank you guys for watching and for supporting me all through these years. This concludes the end of the video and don't forget to like, sub, and share and I'll see you next time. Bye!